Hi everyone, it's Vanessa. I'm here today to record my TVR for middle grade March, which I'm so excited is going to get started very, very soon. I have a lot of things on my potential TBR. I've literally been planning this in my journal for ever since I got the prompts, basically. I'll show you the page. So it started like this and I wrote quite a lot and then I got like a final TBR and then I got a final, final TBR. <laughs> so there's a lot of planning going on here and it's so fun to plan like your months around reading and how you want your reading to go that month. So we're gonna focus on middle grade in March and that is very exciting. Let's go through the prompts and I have a bunch of books to show you. Um, some are I'm still waiting on hold and others I'm going to listen to on audiobook and I don't have the copy of. But hopefully this has most of everything that I need to talk about. I'm sure as the month goes plans will change a little bit and I'll maybe I'll read some or take some away but I feel like this is a list of books that I'm actually going to get to in March just because a lot of them are available on audiobook and I think that's really gonna help me this month. The first thing is the group read which I did pick up. It is The Book of Boy by Katherine Gilbert Murdoch. Last year's group book I also read with the group um, that was Sweep and this uh, year it's The Book of Boy. I didn't uh, love Sweep as much as everyone else. I really liked it at the beginning. I think part of that had to do with the fact that it is it was a little bit more fantastical than I usually read. I don't really read a lot of fantasy middle grade. I love just realistic contemporary middle grade the most. This one I think is a mix of those two. It gives me very similar vibes to Sweep. It is a book that lots of people loved. Um, in my library it's an epic read which means it's a librarian pick. So it does have a lot of people backing it up and I'm going to give it a try. It's not available on audiobook so I'm going to have to read the physical copy which is going to be a little bit harder but it's also very short. It's less than 300 pages so I think Sweep was longer than this one. As for the rest of the... I tried to give you some light, but every time I give you light, I get huge lines because the sun is currently setting. I think that's better. Sorry. <laughs> I also wanted to sit on the ground today instead of sit on a chair while I was doing my video. Let's keep going. My illustrated book. The first challenge is to read a book with illustrations in it. I have two so far. I feel like this is going to change um, depending on what comes in on hold. But the one I'm really excited about and I'm waiting on hold for the audiobook is Pie in the Sky by Remy Lai. I've heard so many good things about this that it's funny and lighthearted. Um, and heartwarming and it's these two immigrant kids who are coming I believe to the United States and kind of the differences. It says a story of a boy who moves thousands of miles away from his home and feels like he landed on Mars. So the differences of moving over here and feeling like an outsider. It says a boy who has an annoying and hilarious little brother who won't leave him alone and there's also cake baking in this so and inside it does have illustrated parts and then it has written parts so there is my illustration challenge being met. I hope that I really like this one. And then the other illustrated one is a graphic novel that I'm excited to read. I do have a few other juvenile graphic novels that could also in part with this um, from my February TBR, so we'll see how I get through all of those. But one you haven't seen so far is Catherine's War by Julia Billette and Claire Favel, and it is a World War II book. Um, and it's a graphic novel inside and that is pretty much all I know about it. I looked at the art and I said, yep, that looks like my style. And it's about a photographer, as you can see, who takes pictures during the wartime and what that means and does. The next challenge is to read a book about books or stories. And I have picked A Kind of Paradise by Amy Rebecca Tan. I also have this one on audiobook. I'm really excited about this one. It's about a girl who is okay with the fact that she's kind of being punished by working in a library over the summer because she won't have to come into contact with two people she doesn't want to come into contact. She starts volunteering and working at this library and guess what? Those two people are also there at the library. Um, over the course of the summer, as Jamie gets to know the library and the people in it, she finds and gives help where she least expects it. It looks very cute. I'm excited for this one. I am excited for the audiobook as well. The third challenge is to read a mystery, which made me really excited because in my February TBR, before I knew the challenges for middle grade March, I had put murder is bad manners on my February TBR and I wanted to read it because I wanted to get into 
middle grade cozy mysteries to see if that was a cozy mystery for me and um, I haven't read it yet I'm saving it now for middle grade March because I think it'll meet this challenge so perfectly there is no audiobook that I could find which we'll see how that goes because pretty much everything you're seeing here I have found some way to listen to it on audiobook but this one I think is just older and I'm not gonna find an audiobook so let's hope that once I start reading it I get really into it and then I have one more mystery that I do have on audiobook and that is one I'm really excited about it's one that I got recommended on the NPR concierge thing video that I did a while ago um, of like the best books according to people who work at NPR and this one was on it it is from the perspective of someone who is uh, Native American and it's also kind of a mystery of learning about her background it says one summer day she and her friends discover a box in the attic full of old photos of a woman who looks just like her. It says Eddie has a flurry of new questions about this woman who shares her name and it's trying basically to figure out who this person is and what secrets have been going on and people have been hiding information from her. The next challenge is to read a book set in a different country and I have picked The Night Diary by Vera Hiranandani and I have this also out on audiobook. I'm really excited for this. I've heard really good things. This is kind of a book that was hyped a couple years ago, maybe last year. It is set uh, between Pakistan and India and there you see India. It's 1947 and India newly freed from British rule is being divided into two countries, Pakistan and India. She has a Muslim mom and a Hindu dad and it's not really safe for them to be in Pakistan. It's told through letters and that makes me excited. I really like novels like that. So woohoo! That's The Night Diary. And the last um, challenge is to read a book to movie adaptation. I had kind of a hard time finding one that I actually wanted to read. There are like older books that maybe I do want to read at some point like Charlotte's Web and things like that but it didn't call to me right away. One thing that did call to me is the fact that this book has been optioned to be made into a film. It hasn't been made into a film yet but I think it still counts. So it is The Thing About Jellyfish by Ali Benjamin. I've always been seeing this cover at work and I'm like I want to read that. The cover looks like something I would enjoy. It doesn't actually say that much on the jacket to be honest. It basically only says it's a heartfelt debut that explores a defining moment in each of our lives when we first realize that not all stories have happy endings. So looks right up my alley. <laughs> that is it for the challenges. So I'm excited to read all those books, but I do have more and I'm really excited for these as well. We'll see which of these that I get to. There's some that I'm more excited about than others. Like for example, I'm really excited about a brand new release by Kate Messner called Chirp. And this one supposedly deals with harassment, me too topics for the middle grade audience. So I'm really excited to read this one. That one I'm definitely going to get to in March, I feel like. And another one I'm really excited about is one I've heard a lot of good things about on booktube from a variety of people that I watch, and that is Dear Sweet Pea by Julie Murphy. I've never read anything by Julie Murphy. I feel like middle grade is a great place to start. I'm hoping that it's very sweet. It just looks sweet just from looking at the cover. So that's Dear Sweet Pea. And then these are the ones that are more um, I'm unsure about if I'm going to get to them, but we'll see. Partly because it, it, I had difficulties finding some of these on audiobook. All of those other ones I pretty much found on audiobook. One of them is Some Places More Than Others, which I've had out from the library before, maybe a few months ago when it first came out. This one does not have an audiobook, period. So I will see if I get to this one, but it's about going to Harlem and seeing a different part of her family. It's just going to be a nice Renee Watson read, hopefully. It's shorter than a lot of the ones that I have, so I should get to it in March, but we'll see. Another one I just requested that my library purchase the audiobook for is No Fixed Address by Susan Nielsen and this is a book about someone who is experiencing homelessness, a child experiencing homelessness and what that's like for him but I have heard that it is humorous story so it's not just all sad stuff it is supposed to be a little funny as well so I'm excited to listen to this one hopefully if my library decides to buy the audiobook. Another one that I'm probably gonna suggest that they buy the audiobook next week when I'm allowed to make another recommendation is 
Genesis begins again by Alicia D. Williams. This one just won the Carter Scott King Award and it won a bunch of other awards during the Youth Media Awards um, at ALA Midwinter. So I'm excited for this one. I honestly don't know much about it. It's mostly the cover that's drawing me in and that it won all those awards. Hopefully they get the audiobook and this is another one that I get to read in March. There's a couple more that I don't have physical copies for. One of them is Stand Up Yumi Chung and this one is releasing, I believe, March 13th. So it's during middle grade March and I'm really excited. I'm anticipating this one. I want hold for the audiobook and the physical copies so when it arrives, it'll come to me right away. And that's another one that I'm looking forward to. It's about a stand-up comedian, middle grade girl. It just sounds very lighthearted and, and sweet. So I'm excited for that one. And then another one that I want to get to is Jason Reynolds and um, Dr. Ibram X. Kendi's book that they did together for like a young reader's version of Stamped from the Beginning. I think it's just called Stamped. And I have that one on audiobook as well from Libro FM. So hopefully I'll get to that one in March as well, which is exciting. I think that is mostly all the things that I currently have that I'm thinking I'm going to read in March. Things will change. Maybe I'll vlog some of that. And if I change my mind or pick something else up, I'll let you know how that goes. But I hope you have a great middle grade March if you're participating. I hope that we all read some great middle grade books this month. And I will see you in my next video. Bye-bye.